Of all the custom and made to measure suit companies out there, Indochino is one of the more popular ones. And it's also one of the companies that you guys have asked me over and over again to weigh in on and give a review of. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I do want to say right up front though, this video is not sponsored. I will not do a sponsored review. However, I did do a paid partnership with Indochino that was for Instagram a few months ago. As a part of that partnership, I did go through the whole process and the suit was given to me for free. The requirements were that I made Instagram stories about my trip to the showroom, and then once the suit was delivered, I would do some more Instagram stories, basically showing me unboxing it and trying it on. That's exactly what I did. There was no review aspect of it. The brand did not require me to say anything positive. I just had to show those two experiences. Anyway, that's a very long way of saying that although I did a paid partnership with Indochino in the past, it is in no way influencing my review today, just to be completely transparent. In fact, the interesting thing is that there was a big debate about whether to go ahead and actually do this review. Sort of related to the paid partnership, but spoiler alert, bottom line up front, I did not have a 100% positive experience. I did the partnership because the contract was signed and like I said, there was no requirement to review or review positively. When I got the suit, that's when I really started to have regrets about the partnership. So I'll be completely honest and say that I've always been somewhat skeptical about Indochino. I know you see all your favorite influencers wearing Indochino all the time and talking about the brand, but something about it never really sat right with me. The price, the quality, I, I just didn't think it could be true. So I went into that partnership with incredible bias, that's important I think to say, but I was more than willing to be proven wrong. Uh, in fact, I was really, really hoping that I would be proven wrong because if you could get something of exceptionally high quality at those prices, I mean, sign me up. Obviously, that wasn't the case. There were some things I really liked though, and I will go into detail about all of that. So just to be clear, Indochino does have an online made-to-measure service. It's a self-measuring thing. I did not do that, so I can't talk at all about the online self-measuring service that they provide. I went to a specific showroom and had that experience. So table of contents for this video. First, I'm going to go over the showroom experience, everything from walking in, selecting my fabric, choosing the details of the suit, and then getting measured. Next, getting the suit at home and trying it on, what that experience was like. Then I'll show you the suit and we'll go over the details so you can see everything that I picked and how it fits. And finally, although you kind of know the answer already, uh, I'll just sum everything up and give you my opinion on Indochino suits. So showroom experience. I was actually traveling at the time and visited the showroom in Houston. This was my first time ever in an Indochino showroom and I had no idea what to expect. So I meet one of the employees who's taking care of me. He just kind of gives me a broad overview. And obviously, first step is to choose the fabric. Indochino has a great way of showing the fabrics in the showroom. They take large bolts of the fabric and tie them so they hang down. And this is a fantastic way to display the fabrics, in my opinion. If you've done made to measure before, you know that you are typically looking through a small book of fabric swatches. I know for me personally, it's really hard to visualize an entire suit when you're looking at just a small piece of fabric um, that's like five inches by five inches. So the fact that you can actually see a large piece of fabric and really feel it in your hand it makes that whole visualization and selection process much, much easier. After choosing your fabric, next you go with the salesperson. Uh, they take an iPad and you select all of the details that you want. Single-breasted, double-breasted, lapels, buttons, pockets, linings, pants, whether you want belt loops, side adjusters, a cuff, all the basic things that you are able to customize with a made-to-measure suit. After that, you get measured by the salesperson so that they can determine which size of the try-on garments to fit you in. It's important to note that with made to measure, you are being fit into a pre-existing pattern. Based on your measurements, they choose something that fits you as close as possible and then tweak that garment to make it more custom to your fit. So during this fitting process, I was able to give some more personal feedback in terms of what I like when it comes to fit, the length that I prefer the pants to be, how I like the jacket to fit. I was even very specific about the leg opening that the pants would have. I said I like a 14 and a half inch leg opening. And all of these things were notated by the salesperson in my file for when the suit was made. So that was pretty much it. It's a very straightforward process. Some positives and negatives from the showroom experience. 
uh, a huge positive and one of the best things in my opinion, which I've already noted, was the way the fabrics were displayed. It's really quite brilliant. As someone who has difficulty visualizing an entire suit from just a small fabric swatch, Negative things, I have a few. Uh, throughout the whole process, I felt kind of rushed. And it was to the point where when I was trying to pick out my fabric, I just had to kind of politely tell the salesperson to let me do my thing and let me take my time and I'd check in with him when I was ready. So there was that. Second, I was disappointed with the lack of options I had to choose from in terms of details like buttons and linings and so on. Also, I like my two inch cuff on my trousers and the maximum you could do was an inch and a half. And then finally, obviously, this is completely dependent on the salesperson you have. The way I was being measured did not inspire confidence that it was being done completely accurately. I've been measured countless times before, including by some really wonderful tailors. So I feel like I have a sense of what it is like to be measured properly, and I just didn't get that same confidence here. Okay, moving on now to actually receiving the suit at home. It took about two weeks to get, which I thought was pretty incredible. Uh, I don't know if that's typical or whether they kind of accelerated mine because we were doing a partnership together. Anyway, it comes in a box. When I opened it up, I was a little disappointed because the suit was kind of folded up and crumpled. Definitely needed a good bit of steam to get all the wrinkles out and stuff. Uh, it does come with a plastic hanger. Bottom line is I wasn't super impressed with the presentation. Now let's actually go through the details of the suit I got, and we're gonna start with the jacket. As you can see, I chose a brown fabric. It's 95% wool, 5% silk. If you look really closely, you can see that it has a nice, subtle herringbone pattern, which is great. Um, it's got a nice hand feel. The jacket is double-breasted, as you can see. It's a six show two, double vent, two flap pockets, welted breast pocket, it does have working sleeve buttons, peak lapel obviously, three and a half inches, pick stitching, it's half canvassed, though it is a fused construction. I know that might be confusing, but it is a fused garment. I just wanna make sure that I'm clear about pointing that out. I did a geometric print lining. There are inside breast pockets on both sides. On the left, there's also a pen pocket and then either a phone or a wallet pocket down below. I was able to get my name on the inside. So that takes care of all the details. Now let's talk about the fit, which is actually really quite good. Jacket length is perfect, just how I like it. Sleeves, I think, look great as well. It fits really well in the midsection. I like the little bit of taper and the shape. Shoulders are good. There's just the slightest bit of puckering at the top. The back is decent, though up in the center of my back, you can see that it's not laying perfectly. Also, I feel like the armholes could be a little higher for my taste. But overall, in terms of fit, I think there are a lot of positives here. The way the back lays is the one thing that takes away from it being super dialed in. Let's quickly go over some of the details of the trousers now. Now, I did a single reverse pleat. We have side adjusters instead of belt loops. The waist has a hook and eye closure, though it extends over with a button closure. Buttons on the back pockets, and then a two inch cuff. Now, I mentioned the cuff last because if you'll recall, Indochino maxes out at a one and a half inch cuff. This cuff is a result of my tailor, and it's not the only thing that's a result of my tailor. So as far as fit, the first thing I'll say is that the waist fits absolutely perfectly, and that was right out of the box, no alterations. However, these pants that you see on me right now are actually the third iteration of these pants. The first pair, which I still have and will show you right now, came with two really big errors. The first, which is pretty obvious, is that they're way too short. They're actually about an inch shorter than they should be. Second is the leg opening. This is very close to a 16 inch leg opening, maybe like 15 and three quarters, which I mentioned because I was very specific about this when I was measured for the suit. So it's pretty disappointing that even though I made a point about making a big deal about my preference for the leg opening, that this is how they came. So obviously they remade the pants for me, but they didn't come like you're seeing them on me now. Again, I was very specific. I said they need to be an inch shorter and the leg opening needs to be 14 and a half inches. When I got the second pair of pants, they were actually three inches too long, uh, and they still had the same almost 16 inch leg opening. Obviously, I took the pants to my tailor and they look great now, but this to me is completely unacceptable. 
Getting it wrong once or having a production error, I get it, it happens, but to get it wrong twice and in such an absurd fashion is just beyond my comprehension. I mean, we went from an inch short to three inches too long. And then even after I was specific about the leg opening for the second time, it was still wrong. And for that, there's no excuse. It's a shame because the overall quality is not terrible for the price, generally around three or four hundred dollars. Fabric is okay, it's not super luxe or anything, but it feels nice. The fit, other than the pants for sure, uh, and the back of the jacket was pretty close. I think when it comes down to it, you're choosing Indochino for the price and the convenience. There were some things about the showroom experience that turned me off a little bit. Of course, that can be completely dependent on the salesperson that you have. And obviously the whole pants thing was a huge no-go for me. So what I'm saying is that I personally cannot recommend Indochino based on those factors. Uh, that's why you've never seen me wear the suit, either on Instagram or here on the channel. I don't want to promote Indochino in any way. You know, and right after we finished the activation that we did a few months ago with them, I told my manager that we wouldn't work with the brand in the future. So that's that full transparency here and my honest experience. So I know there are probably lots of you out there who have had experience with Indochino, and I would love to hear your experiences, whether they were similar to mine or if you had a completely different experience. Please tell me about that down in the comments. I'm sure there will be a great discussion around this topic, as I know so many of you have been looking forward to this review. Any questions you have, I'm happy to answer those. Thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that and hit the bell so you get notified every time we publish a new video. That's all for now, everyone. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.